Okay, so this is the cards running in SLI. Um, they're both on the native 8x, provided by the Sandy Bridge. Seventeen eight forty eight. So I just ran it again um, with the you know with the power target as high as it could go and the voltage. Um, and the bottom car actually got to a little bit high, higher GPU um, core. Let me check it here. I got to 1,032. Oh, I got to 1,045 actually, um, in some places. So I can see that my second GPU is actually better. The score is quite a bit different actually, um, like a thousand points. Yeah, so about a thousand points more. It's quite interesting. Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the difference here. So you can see the graphics score is 12,000, let's see, so the graphics score went up quite a bit actually, um, 25,563, this one's 23,177, that's a pretty big jump for just putting the voltages up a little bit more and making it so it doesn't care if it gets as hot. I think I'll definitely be using uh, AVGA's Precision over MSI Afterburner. Unless you can do that in Afterburner, but I don't see it anywhere. Um, yeah, the physics score is about the same. It's like within 60 points, so... Uh, yeah, pretty... Pretty cool. Let's see if we get 88... Or 18.825, so... I'm going to go ahead and switch up the cards to go ahead and run on the NF200 at 16x um, and see if we get any different results. Okay, one little last thing. Um, I forgot to run the uh, benchmark for 3 Mark 2011. This is what I got with just two of them in SLI. Um, just ran the regular fire. Uh, fire strike. So. Okay, so now I have the 780s on the top, the 580 on the bottom. <coughs> so with this setup, the NF200 chip will kick in. This one will be on the uh, native 16x, and these two will be on the NF200 chips at, at 16 as well. So it's um, anyway. So what I'll do is I'll uh, play some games with without this as the physics, just not even running really, just these two cards doing everything. And then I'll uh, change this to run physics just to be dedicated to it and see how much that affects the game play. Alright. Okay, so it's actually a little different than I thought. Uh, the top one runs the 8x native, and then the other two are at the 16x on the uh, NF200. So the bottom one is the 580, the top two are the 780s. Okay, so it's actually a different day today. Um, for some reason I lost this footage um, just doing this SLI test um, for the basically Bat Batman in Arkham City. Um, just with the two cards running an SLI um, the 580 is not um, doing anything, it's not set up for physics or anything. So we're just going to see what kind of uh, frame rates we get with just two 780s by themselves.
Because I've already done this. <laughs> it should be around 87. So we'll see. Okay, well we got 86. Um, yeah, that's pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the 580 on to run in. To, to, well, the, the next video is in the past, but basically I did the 580 um, running PhysX. So we shall see what that does. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run the benchmark again with uh, the 580 dedicated to PhysX. We'll see how many, or how much better we do. Alright, so an average of 101. I have the first one we got average of 17, or I mean, uh, 87. So, it's quite a bit. You know, not, not enough to buy a 580 for her, but, uh, you know, maybe like a, a 460 or something like that would be good. Let's take a look at the GPU or, or the usage. You can still see it, it jumps around quite a lot still. Some parts getting down to like 19%, 18. And you can see that the usage on the 580, which is this one down here, the highest I got to is 40. So, 580, a little too much for a PhysX card. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, yeah, you can see that it did raise the average frame rate about 15 frames or so um, so yeah pretty cool okay so I forgot to show you guys the uh, running these in the NF200 so if I put a sound card in the top one right here um, it'll activate the NF200 if the other two slots are taken up by video cards so this one's running an 8x these are running in uh, 16x from the NF200 so I'm gonna see if there's a difference between running an 8x native on these cards and you know 16x in the in the NF200 uh, from what I could tell the other tests I ran they'll be within margin of error so let's go ahead and give them a shot I'm just gonna post uh, quick screenshots of the uh, of the scores I'll do the 3D Mark 11 and the new 3D Mark 2013. Okay, I just ran the results for the uh, NF200 and X16 for both the cards. Um, these are what I got with my Intel native, you know, the P18825, and in Firestrike I got 13583. Now this is with the NF200, I got 18886. And 13609 in Fire Strike. So, really, within margin of error, um, I don't really see any, any differences. That's pretty interesting. I would think that there would be some sort of bottleneck, but from what I've gotten so far, I haven't seen one. I'll have to try this again when I get a 3.0 motherboard, but I don't think it's going to change anything. Well, everyone, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you all liked it. Um, I didn't do any more uh, PhysX games because, well, <laughs> I didn't want to install any more. But uh, anyway, I hope you liked it. Um, from what I can tell, running at PCIe 2.0 and 8x doesn't really seem to affect. Doesn't really seem to affect it that much. So. That's how I'm going to run it. Um, I think I definitely will upgrade my video card or uh, upgrade my motherboard and PS or uh, motherboard and processor 
probably when Haswell comes out. I think that um, will not limit. Although I might get Ivy E, Ivy Bridge E. I'm still debating. Um, that's supposed to come out quarter three of 2013. Or maybe it's quarter four, but. Anyway, um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye.